In this video, we will discuss self-treatment of the shoulder with particular emphasis on three of the four muscles of the rotator cuff, as well as one other muscle that attaches to the scapula or shoulder blade and is a major contributor to neck and shoulder pain, the levator scapula. The muscles of the rotator cuff fit into the hollow spaces of the scapula and then attach here to the uppermost aspect of the arm. The levator scapula attaches from the cervical vertebra here and they run down at an angle and attach the upper border of the scapula here. The first muscle we will cover because of its prominent referral pattern to the front of the shoulder is the infraspinatus. This muscle covers the entire bottom portion of the scapula. Many people physically describe pain from the infraspinatus by squeezing the front of the shoulder and then down the side of their arm. When compressing a trigger point in the infraspinatus, we will see its referred pain pattern going into the front of the shoulder and down the arm. The teres minor is located just to the outside of the infraspinatus, right here in the crease of the underarm. Many people use two fingers of the opposite hand to press deeply into the referred pain zone of this muscle to describe its pain. When the trigger point in the teres is compressed, we can see its pain pattern in the back side of the middle of the arm. The supraspinatus muscle, located just above the bony spine of the scapula right here, refers pain over itself, but more so into the side of the arm and into the outside of the elbow here. When we compress the trigger point in the supraspinatus, we can see that pain pattern arise. Pain from trigger points in the levator scapula are a very common cause for neck and shoulder pain. Pain is referred here to the angle of the neck as well as all the way down the inside border of the scapula. When we compress the trigger points in the levator here at the angle, we can see that pain pattern emerge. Now we're going to show you how to treat the infraspinatus muscle using the back knobber 2 tool. We're going to be using the shorter curve of the back knobber instead of the larger curve. And the reason for this is simply because Erica's body has, is a smaller frame. So she is reaching the tool around and she is catching the infraspinatus muscle here, which is located between the spine of the scapula and the angle. So we can treat essentially this entire area. What you can't see is that Erica is using the opposite side of her body, in this case her left arm, to apply pressure to the back knobber to treat the trigger points and tenderness that are existing within the infraspinatus. Now we're going to self-treat the teres minor muscle. Treating this muscle, we're going to use the larger hook of the back knobber instead of the smaller hook. The reason for this is because we'll be hooking under the arm and catching the teres minor here. You can see that Erica has the knob of the back knobber placed just in the crease of the underarm and she is compressing by keeping the side that she is working on into her body and using the opposite side, in this case the left arm, to compress upwards into the muscle. In doing so, she'll be able to treat any trigger points that exist in the teres minor and alleviate that pain. To treat the supraspinatus muscle, we will be using the smaller hook of the back knobber in order to hook around the front of the shoulder and directly into the muscle, which is located just in front of this bone here, the spine of the scapula. If you have a hard time locating this muscle, just find the spine and move slightly forward and you will feel the tool drop down into the muscle. If we have Erica turn just slightly, you can see that the side that she is treating, she has her hand rested on the curve of the back number. The reason for this is that so that she can provide some downward force directly into the muscle. This way she is able to treat the muscle directly and in that way treat any trigger points that are there. To treat the levator scapula, if you notice, Erica is using the tool and she is using the smaller hook to connect with the angle of the shoulder. She is then directing force slightly towards the midline of her body in order to contact the muscle. Also notice that her head is slightly turned away in order to make the muscle a little bit more prominent and easier to treat. 